I recently made a video walking through how to set up your microphone so you can get loud and excited and not distort your audio. On that video, I got a question stating, I don't understand the difference between lowering the microphone's level and the operating system, only then to boost and limit it. Can't you just put the limiter on with the microphone's level at 100% in the operating system? Before I address why that won't work, let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Currently, I have my input level set at 44%. On my meter in OBS, we're peaking between minus 20 and minus 12 dB. This is exactly where we want to be, but let me go ahead and increase my input level at the operating system to 100%. Now my level is at 100%, I do not have any filters engaged, and what do you hear? You hear a bunch of distortion. So let's go ahead and open up our filters and add a limiter at minus 1 dB and see what happens. Now with my input level set at 100%, I have the limiter engaged at minus 1 dB, and what do you hear? You still hear that distortion, you still hear those clipping artifacts, we just aren't actually hitting 0 dBFS, but that distortion is baked into the recording. So what is the difference between increasing your level at the operating system versus increasing your level and then limiting it in a DAW or in OBS? The easiest way to explain this is think of your operating system settings as one application and think of OBS or your DAW or your recording software as another application. This isn't actually how it happens, but you can think of it as your operating system settings allowing you to record your audio and then once that's recorded, you export that as a WAV file. That WAV file then gets dropped into your DAW or into OBS and then you are adding your filters to that audio. What that means is if you set your level too high at the operating system and you exceed or hit zero dBFS and encounter that clipping and distorting, when that audio gets routed into OBS or your DAW, it is going to maintain and have that distortion built into the recording. The only way to avoid that is to decrease our microphone's input level at the operating system. That way the audio that is being sent into OBS does not have that distortion baked into it. It is nice and clean and quiet sounding and it doesn't have any of those artifacts. Now the reason we can then add gain, a compressor, and a limiter in OBS while avoiding those distortion artifacts is because all of this processing is being done before the audio is being outputted. But if I were to only add gain in OBS and get loud and excited, I would distort and clip. And then if I were to import this distorted audio into another piece of software and add a limiter, we would encounter the exact same issue as we do with setting our operating system level too high. I hope that helped out and I hope that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them in the comments down below. Bye.